ready for the start of the breeders to step and they're off goodbye halo breaks alertly nasty pinch back at the start toward the inside it's highest glory by a call wonders delight on the outside now here comes Wonders Delight to take the early lead, and Bayakoa toward the inside. Highest Glory is just in behind them now, and the Derby Philly winning colors will be three wide going into the turn. Colonial Waters is up close early, just four and a half lengths off the lead. Goodbye Halo is rating in sixth position now. It's two and a half lengths back to Gorgeous, who's moving easily about eight lengths off the lead. Then farther back, Open Mind is settled into an easy early gallop. The trailers are Rose's Cantina and Nastique, who was pinched back at the start. The opening quarter was slow, 24 and two fifth seconds. Wonders the light set the pace. And now Bayakoa is gonna take a run for the lead now on the outside. There goes Bayakoa after the lead. Then just off them on the outside, Highest Glory is kept close in third position, two lengths back in Colonial Waters is moving well in fourth. Gorgeous is still racing in fifth position now and she's beginning to pick it up. The field now moving for the far turn, 48 and four. The pace was slow and now Bayakoa takes the lead and pulls clear as they round the far turn. Wonders the lighter job done. She's dropping out of it now. Highest Glory is coming after Bayakoa, who is in full stride. She's opening up here by three. Highest Glory is second. And now Gorgeous is asked for running. She's going to move through toward the inside. From the back of the pack, Hope in Mind is gathering momentum. But she is seven lengths off the lead of Bayakoa, who comes for home now, entering the final furlong. And Gorgeous with a bold late run toward the rail. Bayakoa is put to a fierce drive, trying to hold on by two. Gorgeous trying to catch her, running out of ground. Bayakoa is got it. Bayakoa wins by two lengths. And then it was Gorgeous second. Open mind was closing fast, but she walked. Pace was a crawl. 48 and four for the half mile. The distap turned into a sprint as they turned for home. And Bayakoa wins it. Field sent on their way in the Santa Maria. They all broke perfectly. Nakishka goes to the early lead. Bayakoa content to settle down along her inside. Then it's another three lengths back to invited guest. Karita Tostada is inside of her. They head to the 7 8 pole, and now Bayakoa decided she wants to control things throughout, and Chris McCarran allows Bayakoa to go up and get the lead. Nakishka on the outside of her. They're setting a strong pace up there. They've drawn off to lead it by six. Invited guest is racing in third position, Carita Tostada trail. They pass the three-quarter pole, Bayer Coa, nice and relaxed out there now, still going along smoothly, leads it by a length. Nakishka's on a tight rein in second. Another four lengths back to invited guest, Carita Tostada is at the back, seven off the lead. Half mile left to go now in the Santa Maria, it's still Bayer Coa, just on a loose rein, enjoying herself out there, leading it by three parts of a length. Nakishka is certainly holding her own though, matching her stride for stride in second. Seven back to invited guest and Karita Tostada. Three eighths of a mile to go. Chris McCarran still dead, still on Bayakoa out there. Eddie Dalahuse is starting to niggle at Nakishka now to keep up. She's dropped back a length and a half. Then it's four back to invited guest. A quarter of a mile to go and Bayakoa opens up on him. Chris McCarran took a little peep back here. Baya Koa now out there leading it by four. Nakishka is under the whip in second. Past the eight pole they come. And it's Baya Koa in another one of these scintillating efforts. The Eclipse Award winner shows just why she's the best mare in America. Baya Koa romps. This time the race was Saturday's grade two $100,000 Hawthorne handicap. Phillies and mares going a mile. Bayakoa, who usually likes to run on the lead, is slightly off the pace on the outside in the burgundy and gray silks of the Widdams. With the call, here's Don Alexander. Ernie for home, hot novel, three quarters of a leg. Bayakoa has been wide the entire journey, but now the feet Pink Eye Jr. set sail after the pace setters. Stormy but Ballot has not given it up in a very game effort between them as they begin their long stretch run. By a Koa to take the lead. Stormy but Ballad is second from the outside. Fantastic look with a late run. They're in deep stretch. Bayakoa has it. Stormy but Ballad will be chasing her home in the Hawthorne handicap. All Bayakoa very impressively. Bayakoa repeats as the winner of the Hawthorne. And now, according to trainer Ron McAnally, the six-year-old daughter of consultants bet. 
proud to go on and repeat her sleep with the two grade one handicaps she won last year at Hollywood, the Milady and the Vanity. From Hollywood Park, the grade one Milady handicap at $150,000 added. It's Phillies and Mayors 3 and up going a mile and a 16th on a fast track and a short field of four. The field includes Felidia and then, of course, the champion, Bayakoa, won the nine. Look at the weight, 127 pounds. She's asked to carry. Fantastic look. And Claiborne Farms, Kelly, just four horses as we join. Hollywood Park announcer Michael Warner for the call of the Milady handicap. Racing now. Bayakoa was one of the first to go. In fact, she has the head in front after the start by about 100 yards or so. Fantastic lookers going up on the outside now to try and join Bayakoa, and they go through the clubhouse turn together with Fantastic Look taking over. Fantastic Look has crossed a lead a length and a half to Bayakoa with seven-eighths of a mile to go, and they've kicked away. They're about six or seven lengths clear of Felidia, and a similar break off to Kelly, which is immediately dropping out a long last of all. Fantastic Look has put on a bit of pace in the early stages and swept into the back stretch two lengths clear of Bayakoa who settled down well for Pink Eye. They're clear by about half a dozen lengths to the Irish bred for Lydia with Kelly some 15 lengths off at the tail of the field. Now Bayakoa striding up on the outside within a length or so of fantastic look as they go towards the half mile in the 1990 Milady handicap. It's fantastic look in the Golden Eagle colours the leader by a length to Bayakoa who's sitting up in a beautiful position about eight lengths away in third placing was Felidia, and Kelly is struggling to keep them in sight. Feli uh, Kelly about 12 lengths away at the tail of the field. Coming down towards the 5 16th marker, and fantastic look is the leader here, quickening up again by a length and a half to Bayakoa. They're a long way in front of Felidia. It's fantastic look, the first to straighten up. Fantastic look at the 3 16th has given a couple of cracks with the web. Bayakoa looks to be coasting up to it. Pink Eye hasn't let the great mare go yet, and Bayakoa. Bayakoa went a fantastic look. Bayakoa has taken the lead. She's going to top the $2 million in stake earnings here. Bayakoa coming away, and she's going to win it brilliantly. Bayakoa too classy for fantastic look. A long way back third was... Bayakoa giving 14 pounds to the runner-up. Wins the Milady Handicap. She's by consultant's bid out of the mare Arlucia. Bred in Argentina, owned by Frank and Jan Whittem of Kansas. Trained by Ron McAnally, ridden by Lafitte Pinkai Jr. It seems to me this could be a rider's race. Do you go right to the front with Bayakoa and uh, make the rest of them catch you? And what about go for Juan? Does she stay close or lay back? Tom, I think Lafitte will go to the front and, and uh, Randy Romero on, on go for one. Can't let her get too too far away. Um, Lafitte gets so much run out of his filly that I, I think it's going to be very difficult for go for one to run her down. All right, this could be for Horse of the Year. Tom Durkin with the call of the Breeders' Cup distaff at a mile and an eighth. What great performances this race has produced in six years. Princess Rooney, Lady Secret, Personal Ensign, and Bayakoa, the six-year-old Argentine mare, won it last year. She's in again this year. And she faces a stout challenge from Go for One, the sensational three-year-old Billy, whose odds read now what three up? to five. It's no good. I don't like the way she's One more in behind the gate. Nestorian moves into line. We're ready for a start of the Breeders' well Cup this step, and they're off. And it's a perfect start with Ballet Made going for the lead. Mistorian is there, Colonial Waters, by Akoa, away in good order, and go for one just to her inside. They begin their long run down the Belmont backstretch, and by Akoa is eager for the lead. Lafitte Pinkai trying to throttle her speed and go for one is going to run with her. So the battle is joined early. Miss Dorian just off them. Then the long striding Colonial Waters is settled nicely in behind the pacemakers in fourth. Belay made his fifth by four. Then flags waving and the bright roan Luthier's launch down the back stretch and go for one now is taking the lead by a Koa right there just off her flank and those two now lead the way as they move toward the half mile pole with Colonial Waters trying to stay with them in third. The quarter went in 23 and two fifth seconds they run a half in 46 and two a chess game down the back stretch randy romero moves with goal for one pinkai counters with Bayakoa, and those two the tempo quickening now and a clash of champions midway around the far turn here at belmont park they pull away from three colonial waters is racing in third position, and Mistorian is fourth. They hooked up with the start. They're in a cutthroat duel. Go for one, holding on to a short lead. Bayakoa is right at her throat, and they have dueled through three quarters of a mile in one, two.
10 and 2 by a goal on the outside. A short lead. Gopher Wand is unwavering toward the rail. Goes to stride for stride. Gopher Wand on the inside. By a goal battling back. A dramatic this step. Gopher Wand grimly holding on. By a goal right there. They have fallen. Oh, and a tragedy as Gopher Wand has fallen at the 16th hole. And a tragic stretch run here by a call goes on to win it and 55,000 here in shocked disbelief as goal for one has broken down at the 16th hole. oh the tragedy of this day continues the brilliant philly go for one it appeared a front leg collapsing and jockey Randy Romero, who rode go for one to the Juvenile Philly Championship at the Breeders' Cup in Gulfstream Park last year, joins uh, fellow jockey Chris Antley, although at least uh, in Romero's behalf, he is conscious. You, if you've just joined us, Chris Antley in the sprint on Mr. Nickerson broke a collarbone, was sent to the hospital. Here they are dueling. One a mirror of the other throughout the entire race. Go for one on the inside and buy a co on the outside. And then go for one reaching down deep to battle to the wire and within strides of the finish line. A wrong step, a turn, a twist, and go for one will go down. There it is. And suddenly, Bayakoa's victory, an empty one. Tom? A head-on shot, Dick. You can see the bad step taken by Go for Juan, who did snap a foreleg. Randy Romero going to the track. And it is rapidly turning into the most tragic day in American horse racing history. A hollow victory indeed for Bayakoa, a great champion mare who was showing her grit and determination by battling head and head with the equally valiant go for one until the tragic broken front leg by go for one. Randy Romero on the backboard being lifted onto the stretcher. The second seriously injured rider of the day, Chris Antley taken away by ambulance after a spill in the first race. Bob Newmeyer has the winning trainer, Ron McAnally. Bob? All right, thank you very much. When I talked to Ron before the race, I said that it was uh, a match race on paper. We remember a race here in the 70s. It was a match race between Foolish Pleasure and Ruffian. Ruffian yeah. This was an identical race in many ways, Ron. Uh, Bayakoa, your filly, and Gopher 